Hi, I'm Fiona from Kids Club English and today I'm going to show you these cool story wheels for the Three Billy Goats Gruff. Um, so these are great for retelling stories and sequencing skills. So this is the colour one. Um, I think there's 16 different phases in here. And this is the black and white one. Okay, so the images are a bit different to make it easier uh, for colouring. Okay, um, so I'm going to show you how to make it. Stay tuned to the end for some ideas about how you can use these effectively to teach and recycle story language. Okay. Okay, so um, really simple to make, um, but how can you use more language to, to get them practicing English and the story language more while you're making these? Um, well, if you're using these color black and white ones, um, you can do different things. You can retell the story and as you retell the story, the stop in its stages, the learners can color in um, the different pictures. You could make it more challenging by saying phrases from the story but out of sequence. So um, the, the small goat started to cross the bridge and they'd have to find that picture and then you could get them to tell you the number and then colour that in. Um, alternatively, you could call out the number, they'd have to find the number and then tell you what the story phase is and then uh, go and colour that one in. Um, if you're using the find and stick pictures, um, so you could have those cut up and placed in, a, in an area of the classroom and so you'd have the templates where they had the numbers only on the bottom wheels and then um, you would tell the story again in sequence or out of sequence and then they'd have to go and find that relevant picture and stick it in the, the place on the wheel. Um, and after they've made them, you could do different things as well. So if it's, you know, kind of a race to, to identify the correct picture or image. Um, so again, you could be like, you know, oh, the, tr the troll went up, up, up. Um, and then they would have to find that picture. And then uh, they could say, well, that what number is that? Um, oh, it's number nine. Um, uh, and of course, once they get the idea, you get the, the students doing this for each other. Um, you can play other guessing games as well. So, you know, they can turn their wheel to a certain picture and then their, their partner can ask them questions in order to guess what that um, story event is or phrase. Um, so I'm sure there's lots of other ideas that you can think of about how to use these um, to practice. I, I think just a very simple, easy thing to do um, is, you know, they like having these and being able to move them. So it uh, just makes a, a story telling session more interesting if you're retelling the story and they're following along in the, in the wheels, uh, with their wheels, I should say. 
Um, if you've got some other ideas about how you can get more language use out of, of making a craft like this, then please do let me know. Leave a comment um, below in, um, in the comments area and I'd really love to, to hear them. Um, it might get me thinking of a few new things too. Okay, um, so I hope you enjoy making these story wheels.